Today I'm doing something I've wanted to do for the last five years, turning my SUV into a camper and building an easy DIY sleeping platform to put in the back of my Subaru Outback. I'll show you how my dad and I built this easy DIY sleeping platform for my SUV and give you a tour of my SUV camping setup. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. I've been wanting to convert my SUV into a camper ever since the day I bought it, which was over five years ago. But over the last few years, I've been busy doing other things like planning for a through hike along the Pacific Crest Trail. Then I went and through hiked the PCT in 2018. And then I went back and hiked the PCT again in 2019. During both of my through hikes, my car sat in my dad's backyard while I was out hiking. After my hike in 2019, I came back and I had to find a job and a place to live, so converting my car wasn't a priority. Now I'm finally making the time to convert my SUV into a camper with the help of my awesome dad, and I'm in the process of getting ready for a very busy backpacking season this year. So why car camping and the desire to sleep in my car? I want to do things like spend the night at the trailhead the night before so I don't have to get up early and fight for a parking spot in the morning. I also want to be able to camp comfortably anywhere in my own car, especially if it's raining or snowing outside. Camping in my car will allow me to go on road trips without needing to pay for hotel. And car camping makes travel way more COVID friendly. For my SUV, I have a 2015 Subaru Outback and this thing is my dream car. YouTube, meet Lucy. I got Lucy with the intent of doing a lot of car camping. So the first thing I did when test driving my car was pull it over to the side of the road, put the back seats down, open the hatch, and lay down in the back just to make sure I could comfortably fit laying down in the back of the car. Then I went to the dealer ship and bought my car. My goal for this build was to be able to sleep comfortably and warm in my car, anywhere, all year round, and have plenty of storage space for all of my gear. Figure out which features are important to you. For me, these features were having a platform to sleep on with storage space underneath. Since I don't have a whole lot of space inside, I wanted to make sure I could utilize the space I have as much as possible. This also meant having lots of storage space throughout the car, especially behind the front seats where I wanted to store my shoes, food, and cooler. I also like the idea of being able to sleep high enough where I could look out the window if I wanted to. Another feature that was important to me was being able to keep my back seats in so I still have the option to carry passengers. This would mean needing to have a platform that I could either easily take out by myself or that would fold up into itself and fit in the back behind my back seats. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of sleeping room. I didn't want to be confined to one side of the car. Having a larger sleeping platform would also make sure I had plenty of room for my future dog. And probably my most important feature was to make sure I had a kitchen area where I could cook food. You know, just in case I didn't have access to a picnic table or if the weather was crappy and I could still cook underneath my hatch. A wise man once told me, my dad, measure twice, cut once. When measuring your car, take a look to see if the back of your car is level or if there's a slant of any kind. Upon closer inspection, we notice that the back of my car has a slight slant where the back seats fold down. So when measuring the car, we had to take this slant into consideration so that the sleeping platform would be as flat and level as possible. Before starting the build out, I told my dad what I had in mind for my SUV camping setup. I showed him a few YouTube videos of SUV camper build outs with features and layouts that I light. So after measuring my car, he came up with a sketch of the sleeping platform and then we took a trip to the Goodwood store to buy plywood. The materials we used for the build out were one four foot by eight foot sheet of half inch MDO plywood, a specialty high quality plywood that is smooth, strong, and won't give you slivers. A bunch of one and a half inch screws. My dad had a big box of these so I didn't have to buy any. Three 30 inch piano hinges, which we bought from the same store we bought the wood from. Gorilla glue, my dad had this as well so I didn't have to buy any. Miscellaneous pieces of wood that were hanging around in my dad's shop, including a piece of wood from his boat and a piece of wood that came from the tree in his lot. Two four foot by eight foot telescoping threaded extension poles, which I bought, and all the various tools my dad had in his shop. The man seriously has a tool for everything. I told my dad what I had in mind for my SCV camping setup. I showed him a few YouTube videos of SUV camper buildouts with features and layouts of what I had seen and liked. I also told him how I wanted to add a table to cook on and that I wanted to have as much storage space as I could behind the front seat so I can store my cooler there. After measuring my car, he came up with a sketch of the sleeping platform with all of the measurements. Then we took a trip to the Goodwood store to buy the plywood. the plywood. 
I would. Can I just mention how this was the first time in my life I've ever used a power tool? Number two, put together piece number one, which is the back piece of the platform that will sit near the hatch. Number three, drill pilot holes every six inches and Gorilla Glue the spine to hold it in place. Number four, drill in one and a half inch screws every six inches along the spine to help keep them into place. Number five, cut plywood and start putting together piece number two and piece number three. Number six, use the same process with the glue, pilot holes, and screws for both of these pieces as well. After finishing piece number two and number three, we started working on the fold out kitchen table. Once the assembling of the kitchen table was complete, we installed one of the piano hinges to piece number one and attached it to the kitchen table. Then we attached a piano hinge onto piece number two and attached it to piece number three. From here, my dad sketched out the design and started putting together a custom created center pole that would hold up piece number three and be detachable for whenever I wanted to fold up the platform and use the back seats. The idea behind this custom center pole was to allow for maximum storage behind both the driver and passenger front seats. As for the legs for the kitchen table, we took two four foot by eight foot telescoping threaded extension poles and cut them down. From here, we made two holes in the reinforcement underneath the kitchen table. This way, the poles could be screwed into each hole and then adjusted based on the ground the table is being used on. This would also help make the kitchen table incredibly sturdy on any surface. Then we attached the piano hinge from piece number three to piece number two. My dad then drilled a couple of pilot holes into the reinforcement underneath the kitchen table and added some rope, making a rope handle I could use to pull the table down with. Then we finished installing the custom created center pole for underneath piece number three. My dad created two pilot holes on top so that the center piece could be unscrewed whenever the platform would be folded up and stored behind the back seats. Last step was my dad creating two custom size blocks to use for extra reinforcement underneath piece number two and piece number three. These are both easily removable whenever being disassembled. The final step in my SUV camping setup was adding a memory foam topper onto the sleeping platform. This is a queen size two inch memory foam topper I purchased off of Amazon for $65. I'll include the link below. To make this a perfect fit, I did have to trim the side slightly. This way the memory foam topper covers both the top of the platform and any of the edges on the side so there are no holes on either side of the platform from the top. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a tour of my SUV camper setup. Starting with the back of the car, here's the whole sleeping platform in its entirety. Underneath here, there's storage space that goes back for a total of 32 inches. I've got these two bins I plan on storing gear in underneath along with extra gear to fill the rest of the space. There's also room for storage on each side of the platform. This is my all-time favorite section of the whole camping setup, the kitchen area. And to make the kitchen table extra sturdy, I have these two extension poles to screw into the holes underneath the table that can be adjusted for the ground below. When I'm done using the table, I unscrew both poles and store them on the side of the platform. Then I fold the table back up on top of the platform. 
Moving to the area behind the front seats, there's more storage room both underneath the platform and behind both the front seats. Up above, I have my pod where I can store larger items like any of my backpacking gear, which frees up a ton of space inside my SUV. To fold up the platform, all I have to do is take out the two screws from the custom created centerpiece, fold up this first piece onto the second piece, and then onto the third piece. So that's it for the tour of my SUV camping setup and the easy DIY sleeping platform build for my Subaru Outback. Stay tuned for more videos featuring my SUV camping setup including my sleeping system, cooking system, and accessories that'll make my SUV camper even more comfortable. And plan on seeing more backpacking food videos from the kitchen area in my SUV. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime I add a new video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy trails and keep on trucking.